They can burn your skin. They might poison you. Could even kill you. What are we talking about? Chemicals. There are literally hundreds of chemicals that we use every day to make our lives easier. But how do you get them from A to B without spilling on C? Do we throw them in a bag and a low loader and hope for the best? Of course we don't. So what precautions do chemical hauliers take to make sure everything stays where it should do? Basically in the actual standard of equipment. I mean, um, you look at tankers which from the outside look absolutely normal and inside there are skins and packaging and protection, things that you don't see. Well, and there are a lot of fail safes as well uh, within the, the workings of the tankers. So, you know, perfectly safe on the... The drivers are very well trained. We have um, a dedicated tra uh, driver training school. Um, so they go through a rigorous pre-employment check and um, basically we train them from there how to use a tanker, on the chemicals they're using, um, and then they go out with driver assessors and trainers. And it doesn't just stop there because they, they're onwardly trained throughout the whole of the year. Um, every so often they come back to, the, back to the training school and they're retrained. So despite the potential hazards involved in transporting chemicals, all precautions are taken to ensure they remain as safe as the majority of goods on our roads.